Right now we're just going to be making uh, uh, authentic uh, French crepe. So first you uh, break a large egg or two small eggs into a bowl. So using a whisk, make sure you uh, break the uh, egg yolk. Add one tablespoon of melted butter. So you, then you add one cup of flour. And make sure you make a well so you have to add it in slowly or else you'll get a lot of lumps. Then you put uh, three quarter cups of milk. Gradually add one cup of water and continue to uh, beat the mixture with the whisk. So continue to uh, beat the mixture until there are no lumps. So here's a few fillings you could possibly use for the crepes. I personally like the crap uh, smooth formula of peanut butter. That works really well because it spreads evenly onto your grapes. Uh, any types of jams work well too for like um, sweet tooth. And then these are actually like these two are actually for like um, more garnishes. So you can use the honey for drizzle and you can use the cinnamon for a little uh, spice. So now you're gonna heat a um, crepe pan or just a regular a uh, small pan uh, to a um, medium heat so that's a 5-6 because you don't want your crepe spread because they're so thin and you're gonna like use like a, a paper towel like this and just oil the pan with like canola oil or uh, cooking oil and then you're just gonna take a ladle full like this and just pour it on the pan and you want to tilt it evenly so it gets a round shape. Okay, I guess this one's okay. <laughs> looks pretty good. It's a little uneven, but... It looks oh, nice. Well. Yeah. Okay. How do you know when it's ready to flip? Uh, well, as soon as it starts to, like, um, get, like, uh, more, like, crispy on the sides, and when it starts to turn, like, more brown, I think it's pretty good. Oh, that's nice. That's Don't nice. have to do any fancy tricks, just... Get your spatula under, tilt it to one side, and then flip it. So right now, I just uh, flipped my crepe to the, back to the other side, and see how there's like golden brown spots? That's what you want. And on the back side, see how golden it is? That's what you want, and that's how you tell if your crepe is ready. So I'm just going to lower it onto the pan. You could just skid it onto the pan. So you want to have your crepe flat like this. And this is just a traditional way of folding your crepe, but you could do other styles that might work too. But you want to fold it into a half moon, a semi-circle basically. Like that, put it in the um, plate. And you're going to take anything you want. I'm just going to start off with a nice um, smooth peanut butter. Just put that on the plate. Might need like two knife holes. I know that's not even a phrase, but knife holes, if you know what I mean. But this is just strawberry jam. Come on. Okay. Now you're going to do a crepe fold. So that's basically you're gonna break this in to thirds, okay? This is one third, and this is one third. So you're gonna fold it this way, once, this way, once, and you're gonna fold it on top, like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then all you have to do is drizzle some honey. Just put a little bit. cinnamon and that's how you make a crepe so this is how you make a french 
dessert crepe. Um, it's really good, tastes delicious, it's good for like parties, quick and easy, and enjoy. <laughs>